Hello everybody Welcome back to my channel I hope that you guys have been well So today I am going to put together a little pouch A little sack A cinch bag that I created For my AirPods You can use any fabric scrap that you might have available and it's a lot of fun and anyone should be able to to do this so if you like to join me let's get started I need a base fabric where I can do my sashiko you need some scrap that you can decorate your little pouch like I did here. And then you're also going to need a lining, which what I have here already. It's already sewn. It's the same measurement as your base, which is about six and a half inches by two and a half. So you need two of those, one for the outside and one for the lining. And then you're gonna need you're gonna need this little cinch on the top, which I measured two inches by six and a half. This one is an inch by sixteen inches. Okay. So here's what we need to do. We're going to decide which fabric you want to do your sashiko. This is what I picked. So same thing, all we're going to do is just do the patch on our fabric. So all I'm going to do is stitch this. It's a little bigger, but I will be stitching it. I mean, I will be trimming it later on. Okay, I'll bring you back when I'm done stitching this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I finished this. This is the flap that I'm about to sew and uh, all I do is sew a quarter inch from uh, give it a quarter inch seam allowance everything is a quarter inch seam allowance okay and then do it is sew this shut. Now we're gonna do a knot at the end to secure our stitch and then cut. Just press it and then and then fold it, turning it right side out. Okay, I have two lines here and they are a quarter inch apart, but I had forgotten. I'm gonna redo this. I went so fast in stitching it, I had totally forgotten. I need to keep this opening so I can thread the the loop in it the the little um, strap this this little guy through it so we gotta keep that open and here's what we need to do just gonna stitch this
like so, and then tie a knot. God, I'm feeling so crappy right now. My head is just. Hurting so bad, stuffed off. Oh, this weather we're having. One minute it's cold, the next minute it's hot, and then cold again. And today we got some rain. It rained overnight, and I had to. I had forgotten to bring in the. The cushion on my outdoor furniture, so they're all soaking wet right now. Ah, they'll just have to dry in the next couple of days, and hopefully they won't get moldy. Huh? Anyways, okay, so we did that. We kept this open, this quarter inch seam over the, and then this way I can feed. Um, the strap through. Now we're gonna fold it halfway right side out where we could see we can see the line. Now what I need to do is so a running stitch on the top of this stitch I mean on this line this is the casing for our little tie. So we're not using a machine on this project. So everything I'm doing is a running stitch with the exception of the lining closure that one is lather stitch so the stitch is going to be invisible no one will ever see it plus it's the inside so it really doesn't matter which stitch you want to do but for me lather stitch is cleaner it's invisible you won't see your stitches so anyways so this so we're just gonna Finish this casing. The bottom casing is where our seam is going to be attached to the bag itself. Okay, so now we got the two, and then I already seamed this as well. I seamed the side, and then here I left an opening to turn it inside out, and then I I seam this too. So now let's go ahead and finish this guy up. And I have a quarter inch seam of marking there. That's where I'm gonna I'm gonna sew. And then after I done that, I'm gonna gusset the the back just like I did the lining. Okay. I'm just gonna tie a knot. I'll show you what it looks like now that we've done this. You can cut you can cut the little ends there just so you don't have too much of a bulk. Just very tiny. Now we're gonna turn it inside out. That's what it looks like. Oh and it cute, isn't it cute? Okay, so there is our little pouch, our little little bag and now we're gonna just slip this guy along this this one being right side out, wrong side out. So we're gonna layer all this three, make sure 
they're all aligned. And then all we have to do is do a running stitch to attach them all here. With a quarter inch seam allowance, make sure you're catching everything. Okay, just like to match my my little seam there. All right, so it's all done. Now let's try and turn our work right side out. Now our marking will wash out. I'm gonna soak it in water for just a few minutes so it will wash out. And, and all we gotta do now is do your, this is the ladder stitch I was telling you about to close it. Now we can turn it inside out or right side out. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, it's gonna fray a little bit and that's okay. And that's what's gonna make your fabric very unique and different. So what you could do now is you could either do a decorative decorative stitches on the top around here you can do a running stitch around there or you can do this stitches that I did here so this is a one inch strip again fabric scrap that I had and I'm gonna just fold it in four quarters first in half and then I'm gonna take each half and fold it into again and that gives us a quarter inch of uh, a little strap and then just do a running stitch all along I like to do bring the knot inside and then just do a running stitch all the way to the other side And there it is, cute little bag, little rice sack, is that what you will call it for your little air, air pods. Here's another one, so I had made three already. Isn't it cute? I think it's so cute. Here's the other one I made earlier. This one is a little small. It fits nice and snug in there. And you just tie a nice cute little bow. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you give it a try don't need very much you don't need sewing machine and uh, you can use any any fabric you might have available that you have on hand. <laughs> All right, happy crafting everybody. I'll talk to you again next weekend. Take care, bye-bye.